Hello. So I'm doing some late night shirts. Um, they're not due for two more days, but I thought I'd get a head start on them in case something else came up. So I thought I'd shoot a video and show you how I sublimate white shirts. So as I'm sure if you've seen any of my other videos, you know I cannot do anything on my press. I don't know why I have two left arms, nothing comes out straight. So I like to do everything on my floor. So I have a white board. It's just a poster board kind of thing from Michaels. Um, I put a piece of parchment paper on top. So it goes floor, board, parchment paper, shirt. And this shirt happens to be pretty thin. So I put a piece of parchment paper in the middle to make sure that when I press um, my design, it doesn't go through onto the back part, which makes sense. So I have parchment paper in it. I'm using um, Sublevy, which I do like this shirt. It's a little thin, but I do like these shirts. They run true to size. Um, my customer likes them, so that's what I bought. Um, okay, so next step, I am going to lint roll it and get it up on my press. So give me one second. Okay, so this is my trick and this is why I put it on a board and put the parchment paper in between the shirt and the board. It doesn't matter which way you put it on. So I get it in there and I just whoop, slide my board out. And this, this one doesn't particularly matter because I'm just pre-pressing it. Um, so you have to pre-press to get all the moisture out. If there's any moisture in your shirt, your print won't print well. So I was just showing you how I get it on there. I probably would have just chucked it on there um, for a pre-press. But... So... Just want to make sure your shirt is flat because once you press it, if there's any wrinkle in it, it is, you can't really see this. Just turn that down. Okay. So I have it set to 375. I am just going to press it um, boop, for about eight seconds and I'm using medium pressure. So from here, it goes back on the board. I just slide it right under so as to not mess up the parchment inside. And back on the floor we go. Okay, so now I'm back on the floor. I have my shirt. These are the coasters. Um, the coasters, the can koozies I did earlier. Um, so now we're going to put on our transfer. So I printed three on a page. Um, this is my last shirt and I just this moment went, oh, I should do a video. So that's why I'm doing this now and I only have one left. It's still for tips. If you saw my last video for can koozies, still doing some tip stuff. Um, it's highly convenient that these are v-necks because I know that this is nine inches. I know that the eye is right in the middle and boop, v-neck, easy cheesy to line up. So again, queen of cockeyed. So I am going to take a minute and get this perfectly straight. I do three fingers from the point. So I go one, two, three, it's about right there. Now I look at it 1,800 times and make sure it's straight, and that looks straight. So when I do shirts, I don't like to, and in general, I don't particularly like to use the spray because if the nozzle isn't super clean, um, you can get dots in your image. So I just can't be bothered with it, and I like to use heat tape. 
I happened to get this heat tape at Michael's and I really like it. It's part of their, um, what is that new thing that they have called? It's kind of like sublimation. I'm forgetting the name of it right now, but it's actually pretty good heat tape, but it was a little expensive. Normally I just get it off Amazon. So I'm just putting a couple of strips down. I'm actually reusing some of it because this is pretty thick tape. I don't know if you're supposed to or not, but um, I haven't made millions yet at this business, so I'm reusing my tape. And the reason to either glue it down or tape it is so that it doesn't ghost. When you pull up on your heat press, if you pull up too fast, it could pull up your transfer and create like a shadowing effect called ghosting, which you don't want. So now that this is all taped, let's go back up to the press. Okay, so again, same way. Um, I just, it doesn't really matter where the head of your shirt is. I like the head of my shirt on this side, um, just because I do. I guess because I could see the V on it and I know what I'm doing. I don't know. It's just a personal preference. So again, I'm just going to nice and, oop, can't slide it out if you're holding it. All right. Okay, so... This guy is ready to go. Um, I just, if I can, I just like to make sure the parchment paper is in the seams. Because sometimes the seams will get like a little wonky, so. All right, so again, I have my heat mat, parchment paper, shirt with parchment paper in it. Um, it's been pre-pressed, it's been lint rolled, and now we are gonna stick the transfer on it. Again, I have it 375, 57 seconds, medium pressure. Okay, so we have about five seconds left before I'm gonna pull up this press. And I pull it up super gentle just to make sure there's no ghosting. And I always take the tiniest peek before I rip the whole thing up. And we are good to go. So if I didn't like it, I could stick it back down because everything else is still in place. But we are good to go. And there it is. And it came out nice and bright, exactly, except for that dog hair, exactly the colors of their logo. Perfect detail. And I think this came out great. Um, so I know somebody's going to ask me what printer do I use and what inks do I use. So I will go over that really quick. Um, where can I put you for a second? I have to shake this. So I use an Epson. Um, 7720 and I use 11 by 17 a sub paper by the way I'm shaking this to get out any press marks so while it's hot give it a shake give it a tiny little tug and that'll take out the press marks um, I use a sub paper and I use Cobra inks and these are low battery and these are the only type, the only things that I've used. I've only used Cobra inks. I've only used a sub paper, so I can't speak for any other types. Um, but I'm really happy with these. My Cobra does not require a profile, which I really like. Um, and I happen to be a graphic designer also, so I am, I do understand um, color management, which has been helpful. So. That is my quick tutorial on printing shirts.